I'm Kalina Strinos, and right now in your 13 Action News update, a family continuing to fight for justice after a man was shot and killed by Metro. The family of Jorge Gomez has filed a federal lawsuit against the department after the 25-year-old was killed during a Black Lives Matter protest last month. Now, according to Metro, Gomez was carrying several guns and wearing full body armor during the protest. Police say he raised his gun at them before he was shot. Gomez's family says he was exercising his right to peacefully protest and bear arms. CCSD students will not be back in the classroom when school starts this fall. Last night, the board voted unanimously to move forward with online learning, at least for now. But there will be exceptions for rural schools with less densely populated classrooms, and the board will revisit this decision if schools meet certain COVID-19 health criteria, including positive cases and testing trends in the community. More jobs in the Valley are coming back. According to Dieter, nearly half of the jobs lost during the statewide shutdown have returned since we entered Phase 2. The unemployment rate is also improving as a result. Dieter says in June, the unemployment rate in Las Vegas was 18 percent. That's down from 34 percent in April. It's going to be windy today. That elevates the fire danger, so a red flag warning is in place from 11 a.m. until 9 p.m. Looks like that wind will be most noticeable this afternoon. Highs around 105 degrees. Now, we'll start off early in the 80s, but jump to the low 90s by 9 in the morning. We're back to 100 by noon, and then a hot afternoon around 105. Looks dry today. Uh, and for Las Vegas, likely we stay dry tomorrow. A stray storm possible tomorrow afternoon. Clean temperature temperatures not too, too bad, but still warm around 102 Thursday and Friday. All right, Justin, thank you so much. And that was your 13 Action News update. You can find more on our website, ktv.com, and our free mobile app.